Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Holmes, and there is a very important neurotransmitter that's found mostly in our central nervous system, which is our brain and our spinal cord, that helps calm us down. Now we're all looking for that one thing that helps with our anxiety, that internal dread that we're always feeling, or those racing thoughts, and a lot of those symptoms have to do with the inability to produce enough GABA. There's something going on in our body where we can't produce enough of this neurotransmitter. GABA's really big out there right now, with people who want to supplement and all, all that type of stuff, but I want to tell you, straight GABA cannot actually cross this thing we call the blood-brain barrier. What we need to figure out is why are you not producing enough GABA? GABA is fantastic for those who have racing thoughts, the ones who are insomniacs, the ones who have that internal tension that's not in their stomach from, from pure amounts of dread. They're the people with that just high anxiety, can't seem to calm down, and then, like I said, that racing mind, GABA is that calming neurotransmitter. And since taking straight GABA in the form of a supplement can't cross the blood-brain barrier, what we want to look at is why are you not producing enough GABA? What underlying mechanism is taking place that is stopping you from having this fantastic neurotransmitter flooding through your system to help calm us down? So let's talk about how GABA is made. All right, now a lot of you, if you're looking at this complex board and you see the word citric acid cycle, everyone just instantly wants to shut off the video. We learned about, some of us learned about this in high school, some of us learned about it in biochemistry and grit in college. And it's a terrifying cycle and there is a lot to learn, but we're gonna break it down real easy for you. So first of all, the very first step that we need in order to make GABA is breaking down glucose into pyruvate. So that is where we can see the first issue. So if you are having reactive hypoglycemia, low blood sugar, or insulin resistance, pre-diabetic or full-blown diabetes, and you're having issue with glucose or blood sugar, that's number one to manage. You wanna make sure you've got stable blood sugar. That way we can, we can move on to the next step in order to produce enough GABA. So just, we want to break down glucose into something called pyruvate and then we enter the citric acid cycle. We start with acetyl-CoA and it goes through all these blue little marks is our different components of the citric acid cycle. The most important one for GABA production is alpha-ketoglutarate. So we're not going to get into detail about citric acid cycle, just the alpha-ketoglutarate. Now this alpha-ketoglutarate, now what I want you to step backwards. The citric acid cycle takes place in the mitochondria, the powerhouse of our cells. They're the ones that produce cellular energy for us to have healthy cells. So we've got the citric acid cycle in the mitochondria. We, have, we break down acetyl-CoA to a bunch of different factors until we make alpha-ketoglutarate. That becomes glutamate. We use an enzyme to turn that into GABA. Now this is called the GABA shunt. So part of our citric acid cycle will be designated into making GABA, that calming neurotransmitter. So we want to look at where in these steps could we be going wrong to stop us from producing enough GABA. So what we need in this citric acid cycle, so first of all we talked about glucose, so get your blood sugar under control. Two is we need iron. B3, magnesium, and manganese in order to make enough alpha-ketoglutarate. So this is the next step. We need to make sure we don't have any anemias. We've got enough B vitamins and enough magnesium and manganese. We get a lot of that from our uh, vegetables. So alpha-ketoglutarate will become glutamate. We need enough B6 for this. That's really important. So once again, we're looking at B vitamins. This enzyme, GAD, needs a lot of, once again, B6 and magnesium to work the way that's supposed to in order to make GABA. Now, a lot of us women suffer from a lot of anxiety. So one thing that actually helps GABA get into a cell to be used, because GABA out in the blood doesn't really do much. It's got to get into the cell to be used. So when GABA gets into the cell, what helps GABA get into the cell is actually progesterone. So having adequate amounts of progesterone helps with that calming neurotransmitter. So that's another step we want to look at. So we're looking at iron, blood sugar, magnesium, manganese, B vitamins, and progesterone. All of these things play a big role in our ability to feel that calming effect of GABA. So some things that we absolutely need, iron, B vitamins, magnesium, manganese, low inflammation and low oxidative stress. Why? Inflammation and oxidative stress 
hurt the mitochondria. They end up damaging the mitochondria. So we need to make sure we live an anti-inflammatory lifestyle, which means proper food and proper nutrients. Low oxidative stress. A lot of people with autoimmune conditions have high oxidative stress or blood sugar issues have high oxidative stress. So we wanna make sure this is under control too. One great way, now this is an indirect way to measure your GABA levels, is actually through an organic acid urine analysis. That urine analysis is going to show us where in the citric acid cycle you're going wrong, where we're having issues. It's a fantastic test to get run. It does not exactly tell you what your GABA levels are, but we can at least see where in this cycle, including this part, something might not be taking place that should be taking place, or where you're having the issues in the production of GABA. There's also some supplement support that you can use. And uh, now supplements, this is still a band-aid to a true problem, but at least if you're gonna use the band-aid, use it in conjunction of trying to figure out what is actually taking place. Because you don't wanna take the band-aid for forever. You wanna get to the underlying cause of why you're feeling the way you're feeling. So what you wanna do is get to this underlying cause, and of course you can use the band-aid to, to help you through the process. So some great support that helps you produce a little bit more GABA includes things like valerian root extract, lithium passion flower extract, L-theanine, uh, taurine, and something called uh, phenobutyrate. Or what you can also use is P5P, zinc, and manganese. Those also help with this enzyme other than B6 and magnesium. All right, so if, you've, if you found this video interesting and helpful, I highly recommend you check out a lot of our blog articles that you can find at our website, ibrainandbody.com. We also have a whole lot of other videos jam-packed full of information just like this one. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed.